In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a user to your BigCommerce store. All right. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner just like you, and I run a community for people like us. And I'll have a link at the end if you're interested in that. Let me share my screen. I'll show you guys where to go to do this. So once you're logged into the back end of your BigCommerce store, you want to scroll down, go to account settings, and then users. And then to add a new user, you're going to click on create user account and type in the email address of whoever it is. <clears throat> that should be a real user at gmail.com. Now you can make them active or inactive. So if you want to put them on, put, put the brakes on them at some point, you can always change them to be inactive without deleting their user. There's, I don't think that there's a limit on how many users, at least I've never hit a limit in 13 years. So um, I don't think it's a big deal to add users. And I've definitely seen stores have upwards of 50 to 100, if I recall. So uh, I don't think there's a limit. Anyway, so you enter their email at the top. Now, if they don't have an account with BigCommerce already, they're going to get an email that they can use to set up an account. If they do have an, an account already with BigCommerce, this is going to let their same user also log into this store, which is great. So for people like us that have access to, you know, a hundred plus stores, then we don't have to have a hundred passwords, which, which is fantastic. Just make sure that you use the same email that they use on their other accounts uh, and you should be good. All right. So put in their email, move it on. You can put a different language if they want to see a different language in the back end. And down here is where you set the permissions. Now by default, they're in here as sales staff and you can click through or scroll down here and see all the things that they can do as sales staff. But then you could also do sales manager, which basically just gives them all the permissions here in this next chunk of stuff. If they're a store admin like me, then you can put them down as store administrator. And that gives them just all the permissions in all three of these chunks of permissions. And you can always back some out. Like if you say, hey, that Cal guy, I don't want him to be able to delete users. Just uncheck that. And that's basically going to put me in like a custom status a little bit where I have almost all the permissions a store, store admin would have, but not all of them. And then down here, there's high risk permissions. And you can assign these if you want this user to be able to issue and delete API keys. So if this is your developer and you trust them, then you can give them these permissions. Um, if you have apps installed, they'll show up down here and you can put them on all those if you want or not. Uh, note that if they are a store administrator, they can actually come in and give themselves access to the single click apps later on, which is actually a really nice function. Um, now, the one thing that they can't do is uh, install apps. So no account type, as of the taping of this video, can install apps on a store except for the store owner. And... They also cannot uh, create API keys unless you specifically give them these permissions. So almost everything else you can do, you can't, let's say you can't connect apps, you can't move it to a different domain, you can't get into like the account management screen or anything like that unless you're the store owner. Almost everything else you can do as a store administrator once you get the high risk permissions. And yeah, so basically all you gotta do at the end is click save and they will either have an invite to create an account or they will have an email saying that they just got added to your account. Either way, mission complete. Leave me a comment if this was helpful. Leave me a comment if you're stuck on anything else. And if you're interested in our community, ecommerceamplifiers.com, link's right up there. And if you need a developer for your store, reach out to me and my team at epicdesignlabs.com. Thank you so much.